Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of our pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of the new AI features inside of pipe drive. Now, these features are part of Pipedrive's professional plan, so if you are on Essential or Advanced, you will need to upgrade in order to take advantage of this new functionality. Now, it is worth pointing out these new AI features are still in beta, and it's still very early days for AI in general. So if you watch this video six months from now, you might find that these features have changed or look different to what you see here. Personally, I've really been enjoying these new AI features, particularly as I've started to shift my role a little bit within my company, where I was the only salesperson before. Now I've got my team selling and I'm sort of acting more as that sales manager and I'm overseeing how my team are performing in terms of sales. These new AI features help me to quickly summarize deals and find the best opportunities for us to follow up on. So I've certainly been enjoying these new features. Now, if you would like to get some extra one-on-one -on -one help with Pipedrive, click the link in the description below where you can learn more about our Pipedrive consulting options and you can book a complimentary introductory call with our team. And if you have any questions at the end of this video, feel free to leave me a comment below. Now, the first AI feature I'd like to show you is that you can now get recommendations on which deals to follow up on inside your sales assistant. If you click on the light bulb up here, you'll actually see there's a little one here next to this light bulb. This tells me I have a new notification in my sales assistant. Inside the sales assistant, this is where I get notified about any emails that are being opened or clicked from my email tracking. I get notified about any comments or mentions on deals or upcoming activities. And now we have this next best action section. So what Pipedrive does is every day it looks at the deals you have in progress and it's using AI to look at the deals that you typically win. What are the characteristics of those deals that you win and what deals do you have in progress right now that share those common characteristics? And it gives you a recommendation like you see here of deals that I should follow up on. So it tells me, we believe you have a high chance of advancing this deal. Consider scheduling a call with the prospect. I can see what stage the deal is in. I can see the current deal value, when I'm expecting to close the deal. And Pipedrive is even showing me on the opportunity meter, this is a high opportunity. I can then click to open the deal. I can take a look at my deal and decide how I want to proceed or when I'm going to follow up next. Once I'm inside the deal, you see there's this deal summary. And again, this is showing as in beta at the moment. And I can click the summarize button to generate an AI summary of the status of this deal. So here I get a bit of a summary of how this deal is currently going. So I can see the deal is currently open. We've won a deal already for this person. That's a good indicator because if we've done business with this person before, if we've won a deal in the past, that implies that we probably have a good likelihood of winning a deal again. There's been no recent activity for uh, zero days, and that's actually because I followed up yesterday. Um, we originally engaged on July 3rd, and um, I've tried calling this person a couple of times without a response. And again, in my opportunity meter, I can see this is a high quality opportunity. Here's another example of an AI summary on a different deal. So I can see the deal is open. We've had 15 one deals with this company in the past. It's been five days since our last interaction, and this is really useful. The most recent email thread is about a renewal payment issue. So we can see, right, here's a possible um, issue that we need to go and address and take action on next. And Faith Majid has updated Paul about assigned activity and product price. So as I mentioned, I feel these features in particular are really useful for business owners or sales managers. If you're someone that needs to keep track of how their team is performing, those recommendations are great for identifying what's the next best opportunity that we should be following up on. And if you're going through deals, I actually talked about this in one of my recent videos about how I track the performance of my sales team. And I talked about how I, on a weekly basis, review all of their deals. Well, these new summaries are great because I can quickly see when was the last time we touched base? What's their readiness to buy? And how good of an opportunity is this? Now, for the next AI feature, let's take a look at this email conversation. This is a conversation that I started from Pipedrive using the email sync feature. And because I sent the email from the deal, we can see on the right hand side, it's actually connected to a deal. And what I can do is I can generate an AI summary of the conversation that I've been having. So we can see here, Nancy Mango is inquiring about the cost of the Master Pipe Drive program and the possibility of accessing a nonprofit discount. It gives me a summary of the sentiment. So this conversation is polite and transactional. This I really like, the readiness to buy one to 10. So I can see this is a seven. 
Uh, they're showing interest in our program and inquiring about potential discounts, indicating a high level of interest. And then action items. So I need to provide some information about this nonprofit discount and I clearly can see what I need to do next. So this is great. Again, if I'm going through a bunch of deals and trying to catch up on where we're at, rather than having to read through a ton of emails, I can just get this AI summary and see what do I need to do next. And the final AI feature I'd like to show you is that you can use AI to write your emails. So when I'm on a deal, I can go to this email tab and I can compose an email to send. Now, of course, you can already use the templates feature if you've got pre-written templates ready to go. But you'll now notice the write my email option here. So I can give the AI a description of the kind of email I'd like. So write an email asking the prospect to book a call so we can discuss the project details, send my Calendly link. I can choose the type of tone, so I'm gonna go for friendly. And I like short emails, so let's keep it short. So here we go, here's the email that was written. Of course, it's put in a little placeholder where I need to insert my Calendly link. Um, if I'm happy with this, I can copy this into my message. I can also change the tone or length if I need to, and then I can regenerate, but I'm pretty happy with this, so I'll just copy that into my message. Now, to be honest, this is probably the AI feature I'm using the least. It might just be me, but personally, I'm finding that I either just use one of my pre-written templates, which are already perfect, ready to go, they've got the correct links and everything already inserted into them, or I sometimes find that by the time I give the AI a prompt, check it, rewrite it a little bit, it's often just quicker for me to write the email myself. So again, I don't know if that's just me doing things the slow way that I'm used to doing it, but I'm not really using that AI drafting feature all that much. What I do think it's really good for though is just experimenting with different language. So if you do need help creating templates, it's definitely worth playing with the AI, getting it to try different lengths of emails, different tones and language. You can then get the email looking really good and then save that as a template for using later. So that is a look at the new AI functionality inside of Pipedrive. As I mentioned, this is just the beginning and I think Pipedrive have made a really good start. And I'm looking forward to seeing what more Pipedrive can do with AI. Personally, I'd love to see AI help me analyze some of my reports. So when I go into my insights, maybe it could give me some tips or recommendations like how many calls or emails or touch points are required to close the best kinds of deals. So I'd love to see some analysis around our insights to help me make better decisions around how we should follow up and conduct our sales process. So who knows? We'll have to wait and see what Pipedrive come up with next. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below and don't forget to click the link in the description if you'd like to get in touch with us and get one-on-one -on -one support with Pipedrive if you need help with account setup, automation or training for your team. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.